I'm Madhul Kumar. Welcome to my series on rate of change. So we have taken a couple of examples based on applications. Here is question number two. For f of x equals to 2x squared minus 6, determine the equation of a tangent line when x equals to 2 by difference quotient method. So we are given the function f of x equals to 2x squared minus 6. We need to find tangent line at x equals to 2. Let's find the point at x equals to 2. Substituting 2 here, we get 2 square minus 6, which is 2 times 2, 4 times 2 is 8 minus 6, so which is also equals to 2. So the point here is 2, 2, right? So that's the point. So basically what we have here is a parabola which is opening upwards, kind of like this, right? So I'm not drawing any axis here. And we do have a point 2. You can actually draw the axis also since it's a very simple function to sketch. It's a parabola which has gone six steps down, right? So kind of like this. So where this, of course, is uh, minus 6, right? Now, 2 comma 2 means we have a point somewhere uh, above in coordinate 1. And we need to find equation of the tangent line somewhere here, right? So, so we're looking for equation of this tangent line. Where this point here is 2 comma 2. Sorry. Is it clear to you, right? So that's what we are interested in finding. Now, with difference quotient method, we can find the slope of the tangent line. We already know the point itself. So instantaneous rate of change, or we say slope m, will be at any point here. We can write this as f of x plus h minus f of x over h, right? Where h is very, very small as compared to 1, so it's negligible, or as very, very close to 0, right? So we can say the slope here, m, is equal to, that is the function, right? So we have this as 2, x plus h whole square minus 6 minus 2x square minus 6. I, I could have substituted 2 here, right? And then also uh, we could find, but this is a general solution, right? So we can expand this. So we get 2 times x square plus 2xh plus h square minus 6. And within this bracket, we have 2x square minus 6. So whenever you apply this method, you will understand that these terms will always cancel, right? So these terms, both of them, will cancel. So 2x squared cancels with this, because when you multiply, it becomes 2x squared, right? Now, from this, h could be taken out. We already have two outside, so we have 2h, and we could write this as 2x plus h, correct, over h. So now we could cancel these. And we know this h is very small. So approximately, we can write this as 2 times 2x plus h, which is approximately equals to 4x. So at any point on this curve, the slope is 4 times uh, x, sorry. So we get slope equals to 4 times x. Now, when x equals to 2, in that case, m equals to 4 times 2, and we get the value as 8. So we know the slope is 8. And we also know that the point of interest is 2, 2, right? Now we can find the equation of the tangent line. So let the equation of the tangent line be y equals to mx plus b. So in this case, uh, we know y is 2, right? Slope m is 8 x is also 2 and we can find what b is. So we get 2 minus 16 as equals to b which is minus 14, correct? So that gives you the equation of the line which is equation of tangent line. Let's write equation of tangent is y equals to slope 8 x minus 14, correct? So that becomes the solution for the given question. So I hope that makes sense. So the steps are very clear. Find uh, 
the point first by substituting x equals to 2 in the equation and then using this difference quotient method so this is called this is what difference quotient method is right using difference quotient method you can find general solution you could have placed 2 there and also calculated the value once you get the slope and the point you can write equation standard form or in slope intercept form we mentioned the equation in slope intercept form in this video so i hope that helps also watch other related questions i have taken many uh, application thinking question based on rate of change for your practice thanks for your time and all the best